search together much easier. You can easily create envelopes and labels using the envelopes command. In addition, Mail Merge gives you the ability to add names and addresses to documents, like form letters, without having to type each one individually. With Mail Merge, you create a main document or letter and add fields in the places where you want each recipient's information to be placed. Let's look at how to create individual envelopes. First, click on the Mailing tabs and select Envelopes in the Create group. We'll need to add the delivery and return address. Enter the information for the envelope. To change the font or envelope or printing options, click the Options button to open the Envelope Options dialog box. The first tab sets the envelope size and address fonts. The second tab provides printing options. If you decide to print labels instead of an envelope, click the Labels tab in the Envelopes and Labels dialog box. The information will transfer over if you've entered the addresses in the envelope section. If the fields are blank, you'll need to enter the information for your labels. Now you'll need to choose your label. To do so, simply click Options and choose the label vendor as well as the product number from the list. Finally, you can either add it to a document or print it. Mail Merge is a great tool to help you create labels, letters, or even emails by merging a list of your data that you already have or by entering your data into a data list. Let's look at the different ways you can start a mail merge. In the Start Mail Merge group, under the Mailings tab, is the Start Mail Merge button. When you click the button, you can see the many ways you can start using Mail Merge. As we've mentioned, you can create letters, email messages, envelopes, labels, a directory, and just a simple Word document. You can also use the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard if you need help. The first step is to select your recipients by either typing a new list or using an existing list. This includes using a quick link to your Outlook contacts if that's where the information is stored. We'll create a new list for our first example. We'll open Type a New List from the Select Recipients button drop-down list located in the Start Mail Merge group under the Mailing tab. The New Address List dialog box opens. Now we can enter recipients' names into the columns. If you need to customize the columns and add new fields, click Customize Columns. The Customize Address List dialog box opens and we can add or delete fields, rename them, or move them up or down in the order they appear. For example, we'll delete the Home Phone field and then click OK. From here we can type our recipient's information into the fields of the new address list and when we're finished, click OK. Word will prompt you to save the list you've created in order to use it again in the future. Next, let's explore using an existing list. 
Let's open a form letter and look at how to insert merge fields using an existing list. We'll use an existing list of addresses we've created in an Excel file. First, we'll open our form letter from our computer. We'll open the document Mail Merge Standard Form Letter. Next, we'll choose the Mailings tab, then use an existing list from the Select Recipients drop-down arrow. The Select Data Source dialog box will open. From here, we'll locate and choose the file that contains our recipient information. The file name is Mail Merge Address List. We'll select it and click Open. Because we are using an Excel spreadsheet, we need to choose which spreadsheet we want to use and if the first row of our data contains column headers. We'll select Sheet 1 and then click OK. Let's verify our list by clicking the Edit Recipient List button. The Mail Merge Recipients dialog box opens. All of the names have transferred over, so we'll click OK to close it. Now we'll add the fields using the commands in the Write and Insert Fields group to add the fields that will be filled in by Word once we're finished. The Address Block button lets us quickly set up an address block in our letter. Once we've set it up, we just click OK to close the Insert Address Block dialog box. We'll choose Address Block, and the Insert Address Block opens. We'll preview the formatting, and then click OK. Now we can click the Preview Results button in the Preview Results group to see what our letter will look like. This is a great tool to use as you are formatting your document. Just click it once to turn it on and click it again to turn it off. We can use the greeting line button in the same way as we did our address block. Only this time, we'll add the recipient's first and last name into the greeting line using the Insert Merge Fields button. We need to place our cursor where we want the first name to go. Then click on the Insert Merge Field drop-down arrow. Select first and last name from the list and the field will be added. We need to be sure to add any necessary spaces, for instance the space between the greeting and the first and last name, along with any necessary punctuation. Now we can use Preview Results again to see our results. We can also use the forward and back arrows to review each of the new form letters. Finally, we'll click the Finish and Merge button to view the options available. The options include the ability to edit individual documents, print the documents, and send the documents as email messages. We'll just click the Edit Individual Documents button to open the Merge to New Document dialog box. We'll choose to merge all records and click OK to create the document. 
As we can see, each of the merged letters is included in the document. From here, we could modify individual documents, print them, or even save them for a future use. Remember, if you need help along the way, you can always select the Start Mail Merge dropdown and select the Step-by-Step -step Mail Wizard. The wizard will guide you through the process.